The Black Rock area of Buffalo, New York was a very busy place for railroad traffic. Perhaps no other location demonstrated the frequent movement of trains than at New York Central's Tower F. Located near the corner of Niagara Street and Tonawanda Street, Tower F controlled all the movement of trains between the Canadian National traffic coming from the International Bridge and the New York Central's Niagara branch, which ran north and south. The area was a haven for rail activity because the International Bridge served as a crossing for trains of the Michigan Central, the Toronto Hamilton and Buffalo, the New York Central, and the Canadian National. The CN actually owned the trackage coming from Canada and was also responsible for the Black Rock passenger station that stood just off the swing bridge that carried the railroad tracks over the Erie Canal, now known as the Erie Barge Canal, and Squaw Island, now known as Unity Island. In addition to the Black Rock station, the New York Central operated a large freight house. The New York Central also had their Black Rock Yard within sight of Tower F, so freight traffic was a constant presence. Across the street from the freight house was the Pratt and Letchworth stamping plant. These 8mm films were shot by William Kessel, one of the original members of the Buffalo Division of the Railroad Enthusiasts, now known as the National Railway Historical Society. The first train that Bill Kessel captured was a THMB pulled by Canadian Pacific Engine number 2398 as it slowly pulls past the Black Rock Station after just crossing the International Bridge. More than likely, Bill didn't capture the train coming to a stop at the station to let passengers either on or off the train. But he resumed filming as the train was swinging to the right as it starts to cross onto the Niagara branch in order to proceed south and eventually arrive at Central Terminal. The train has arrived when the Canadian National was celebrating an anniversary as their museum train is parked on a siding just to the southeast of the Black Rock Station. Old CN engine number 40 a wood burner from 1872 is on display with many of its original passenger cars. The engine is currently housed at the Canada Science and Technology Museum in Ottawa. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to determine a date when the Canadian National Museum train visited Buffalo, nor have I been able to determine when Bill Kessel shot these films. Here's New York Central engine 7529, an 060 switching engine making its way from the New York Central's Black Rock Yard. This is New York Central engine 1130, a 280 consolidation type engine. Bill Kessel caught this train as it had just come off the International Bridge from Canada. It's passing the Black Rock passenger station, which you will briefly see as the engine goes by. Remarkably, all of the footage that Bill captured for this particular film took place on the same day, all within the span of an hour or two. This is THB engine number 501, pulling a train from Toronto to Buffalo. The train number would depend on what time this footage was shot. Train 372 was scheduled to arrive in Black Rock at 11.15 a.m., train 374 at 3.10 p.m., and train 366 at 6.15 p.m. This information is according to the June 1951 New York Central timetable. This part of the film was shot right in front of Tower F and shows another THB train crossing the double bridges that carried the railroad tracks over Niagara Street and the Skajakwita Creek. The train is about to cross the International Bridge. Finally, we get a look at the wooden clapboard structure that was Tower F. This is yet another THB train that's just come up from the Niagara branch and is about to stop at the Black Rock station before heading into Canada. After the THB train passes, 
New York Central Engine 2018 and H7C class pulls a freight train onto the International Bridge bound for Canada. And now we see New York Central J1 Hudson 5213 pulling a passenger train as it comes off the Niagara branch after just passing Tower F. The Pratt and Letchworth plant is seen right above the train. While the train was stopped at the Black Rock Station, Bill Kessel crossed over the swing bridge that spanned the Erie Barge Canal to Squaw Island and caught the train after it left the station and started its approach to the International Bridge to Canada. As it was passing Bill's vantage point, a Canadian Pacific switcher pulls a freight train past the passenger train bound for Black Rock. Here is another New York Central train passing Tower F. Unfortunately, Bill didn't stay on this train long enough to identify the engine. Bill started filming this THB train, pulled by a Canadian Pacific engine, on a long approach to Tower F. Once again, this train will stop at the Black Rock Station. The very last engines that Bill Kessel captured on this particular day were two Canadian Pacific switching engines running light past the Black Rock Station on their way to Canada. Thanks to Google Maps, we can see how this area looks today. The swing bridge over the Erie Barge Canal onto Unity Island is still in place, and the brick building with the red shingled roof is the old customs building. Sadly, the original Black Rock Station built by the Canadian National is no longer there. Niagara Street is going under the railroad overpass bridge. You will also notice that all of the original railroad tracks, with the exception of one, are gone. This is a zoomed out view of the same area. The original New York Central Freight House is visible on the far right of the picture. Very little remains of the Pratt & Letchworth facility. Tonawanda Street is also on the far right. The triangular piece of land to the left of the freight house was where all the trackage to and from the Black Rock Station to the Niagara branch heading south was located. This is a view looking east showing the International Bridge over the Niagara River and the approach to Unity Island and the Swing Bridge over the Erie Barge Canal. The western shore of Unity Island, showing the full expanse of the International Bridge to Canada. Unity Island is a great place to have a picnic and watch the Niagara River flow past the bridge. The experience is made even greater if you happen to catch a train going over the International Bridge. Sadly, no passenger trains cross the bridge any longer. The camera is zooming out to show the bridge taking the railroad over Niagara Street, which is the main road in the picture. The New York Central Freight House is at the top of the image. Tower F and the small Black Rock ticket office would have sat at the far right of the Freight House complex. This image also shows what is left of the Pratt & Letchworth facility. And finally, this plot of land is the spot where Tower F and the small New York Central Black Rock ticket office stood. Although the original freight house is still standing, none of the original Black Rock trackage remains. These films that Bill Kessel shot are an incredible testament to the enormous amount of rail traffic this area once had. Without these films, no one would believe what once stood on this land. New York Central's Tower F, 
the traffic cop of Black Rock.